Embrace the suck. Welcome to McBain Moments. Before we get started, if you're new to the ch channel, welcome to the manor. Make sure you take a moment and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. Embrace the suck. It is an old military adage where sometimes you're going to have to put up with really crappy situations and the only way to get through them is to accept responsibility for the situation you're in and get yourself out of it. Now, by saying accepting responsibility does not necessarily mean fault. You don't have to be at fault to accept responsibility for your situation because there are things you can't control. You know, sure, you might have taken out debt, but you did not expect the economy to crash. That actually happened to me. These are all things that we have some control over factors, but we not, may not have control over all the factors. And so, for instance, me going to college and selecting a major that was extremely expensive in a volatile industry and paying $120,000 for three years of education that I didn't finish, that's my fault. The Great Recession starting in my third year of college was not my fault, but it was my responsibility to get myself out of it. And so, for your situation, you have to separate fault from responsibility and say, you know what, that wasn't my fault, but I need to take responsibility to fix the things that created the situation or fix the things so that I am no longer in the situation I'm in. Because there's any number of factors that you did have control over that if you had known these other factors you may not have done in order to put yourself in the situation you're in, that's the suck. And it's important that you accept the parts of the situation you're in that you are at fault for and then accept responsibility for the whole picture to get yourself out of it. And really, that's, that's what creates a leader. A lot of leaders, they look at the situation, they say, you know what? We're in a bad situation. I'm responsible to get all of us out of it. Doesn't matter who created the situation. It might have been Jack, the dumbass down the lane. But I am now responsible to get all of us out of this successfully in one piece in such a way that we can continue on our way. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so that's really what embracing the suck is all about. You know, when I worked in emergency services and I did that for roughly a year and a half. You know, I worked, I, well I can't say it was just that because I was also in search and rescue for three years. But um, the, the real thing was is when the alarm goes off and you put the gear on and you get into the apparatus and you drive to the to the emergency because I was a firefighter on basically crash rescue the entire time it was you know when you get there you are going to see traumatic events people are going to be hurt people might be dead there's going to be rent metal there's going to be trauma people screaming or crying it is the worst day of the, this is quite possibly the worst day of these people's lives now, thankfully, in my short tenure, I didn't see a huge amount of it, but I did see enough of it. And so, what you have to do is say, okay, I am going into the suck. I know things are going to be bad. I need to take responsibility for myself to make sure that I'm going to make it through this okay, and that those that are on my team are going to make it through this okay. And if at all possible, those who are not on my team and negatively impacted by this are also going to make it through this okay. And so by doing so, you have decided to take the take the lead and, and, and become the rock that other people can lean on. And this creates a situation where you can figure out how to get through the bad situation and create a better situation for yourself and all of those people that you affect. And there are going to be situations or there are going to be people in, in the situation with you that aren't going to want to get out because they, they revel in their own suffering. And at some point you are going to have to cut them loose. And that's, that's a cold fact. There are going to be people in your life that don't want to embrace the suck or 
They embrace the suck to the point where they like the way it sucks and they don't want to get out of the suck. Because they they wallow in it. And those people are not the type of people you want in your life. There's the old... Uh, I think Dan Locke said it best. And it's, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Show me the friends you keep and I'll show you the future you have. Are they people, and, and at first I thought this was t supposed to be taken very literally, you know. Do they work jobs at a certain level? Do they keep things at a certain level? You know, are they, are they working in mundane jobs or are they the, you know, doing the ridiculously cool things? And I realized that that's not the case. <clears throat> the case is, are they putting as much effort toward their own self-improvement as they can? And it doesn't necessarily have to be in a mundane job. It could be in a particular skill. Are they putting the, the, the effort forth? Are they embracing the suck in their lives to the point where they are trying to get out of it? Because embracing the suck and wallowing in the suck are two different things. And so this, this was a, a, a stark realization. And I looked around me. I looked at the friends I have and I looked at the friends that I've had in the past and the friends that I've kind of allowed to move on and the, the friends that I'm trying to acquire and I realized that the, the peers that I have now, even though none of us are anywhere close to rich, most of us deal, are dealing with the middle class problem of trying to overcome debt that we had to take on in order to make it up to the point we're at. All of us have taken responsibility for the position we're in in our lives. And so, even though we know we aren't necessarily at the point we could be at, we're working toward that point. And so I would recommend reflect upon the people you surround yourself with. Because those are your mastermind. These are the people who give you the ideas on how to create the best life for yourself. Look at your mastermind. This is your this is your friend group or friend groups. I happen to have two masterminds. Both consist of approximately four people, including myself. At some point, I need to put the two masterminds together because boy, oh howdy, what we could do together. But look at the people that you surround yourself with, and then think really hard. Are they the type of people who embrace embrace the hard parts of life? in order to create a better future for themselves and for those around them. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Embrace the suck and you will succeed. This has been a McBain moment.